This one a homicide. I'm about to make you a mob. Your own following get to watch you die, buddy, right? Locked inside a coffin side, box supplied by the informed opinion of a lot of guys watching. I proper nice. <laughs> this is my DNA. Boy, there's something sharp in my jeans like a pocket knife. I'm sure. Stop that cut! <laughs> <laughs> Building. We're here for E3. We're here to end your room. Shouts to the end dudes for having a three. We're definitely gonna be back. It is battle number two, number two, whatever. I can't remember what it is in Spanish. We're about to get into the battle. We got our first international battle of the weekend. Shouts to my team. Shouts to the Americans and the English heads in the building. Let's get into this. MC on my right hand side was last on Don't Flop fucking years ago from the USA. My man XQZ. Make some noise. Let's go. <laughs> On the left hand side, repping Don't Flop UK, my man Crafty, make some noise, let's go! Alright, cool. Uh, X to use, gonna be up first, battle number two, Don't Flop APW, night number one, whenever you wanna go, bro, let's go. Alright. <laughs> let's set the scene real quick. I said I, I was writing this in my London flat, overlooking the dark road in the slums, the opening credit star road. Cigar smoke in my lungs, travel in style. Every James Bond car rolled in a one. My wife walked in. You know, this walking tour of Hyde Park Corner looks fun. Oh, let me guess. The events tomorrow when you don't have your bars already done. True story. <laughs> it's kind of a bizarre opener, huh? <laughs> Last time I was here, I had some bars about football and big bands, some recycled don't flop and local references, but I learned my lesson since then, because against a great writer, you can't use played out jokes that have already been said, so yo. The D in Craft D stands for dickhead. Again, they set up this ginger versus Jew at this rap battle event. Just to watch Billy Kitchen get backhanded again. Red Dead, Model 3 drawn, infinite ammo cheat song. Kill him where he respawns before he gets the chance to respawn. It's Chicago to London, doing work from the Shard to the B and Alfred Hitchcock. I'm stopping through to leave my mark on the scene and I am playing with him. He's, I'm just out here trying to guard the machine for vintage gamers, mischief makers. He shook face in these rounds, but just be glad you got a star in the ring. This is the wrong combination, so you know it's unsafe. He trying to close the floodgates with a roll of duct tape. Your whole game slow as fuck. It's a global Updates. Set to me wrongs are trying to open up the golden gun case. I'm locked in. I'm on one. Jimmy Page brought a little game for the British stage. Y'all came to the engine room to see me aircraft. Time to disengage. We on different planes. We on different planes. He been bitching, they ain't been giving him some bigger names. Now everyone online boarded this bitch craft like a Pinterest page. It's that. <laughs> Go. Craft is back. <laughs> Metaphorical acrobat. <laughs> He's one of those, he's one of those brilliant writers that always does that whole psychiatrics act where he analyzes and exposes all your character flaws. It's fucking action packed. I can't wait to. I can't, I can't wait to. I can't wait to hear how I'm apathetic towards battle rap and have him ask where my passions at. Quote some sexist bar I said like six years ago and tell my wife she shouldn't stand for that. Like, like yeah. Like yeah. Like, yeah, my, my marriage was going great until that match with Kraft and that was that. <laughs> until that match with Kraft and that was that. And my wife will be like, good thing I listened to that ginger dickhead in the backwards hat. He usually works <laughs> that. Yo! They said it's ABW. Time to give you the international vet you need. I said, Doc, who you got for me then? Rex? QP? They said, nah, it's a no cost champion. XQZ? I said, ah, oh, sick. Hold on a sec, QZ. <laughs> <laughs> so when Big T walked in, the stewards were like, respect. Your bars are the sickest. Then XQZ walked in and, well, the stewards asked for his ticket. <laughs> he was like, no, you don't understand. I'm a rapper, man. My name's XQZ. Like, I already told you, but I need a wristband to get into the venue, see? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, oh. 
Could you tell them I'm performing today and part of the events crew, please? He was like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I've never met you, G. <laughs> Sorry, no coast, yeah, right. Isn't that one of those text group leagues? All the, hype. <laughs> <laughs> all the hype for battles happens on Facebook and some dead news feeds, and all the shots that are fired get sent through memes. Bunch of nerds who can't spit a bar unless their friends proofread or got matching Star Wars covers on their bedroom sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking XQZ. Looking like something gone wrong out of a test tube seat. <laughs> Or some weird exotic zoo bird that's been let loosely. I don't know whether to battle you or open the window and fucking set you free. Fucking, fucking XQZ. It's just a random sequence. What's it meant to mean? It's like calling yourself 10, 2, 3, or fucking. <laughs> It's just a random sequence, what's it meant to mean? Is that calling yourself 10, 2, 3 or fucking red, blue, green? <laughs> they already know I can outright ya. Yeah? I'm just pissed because from the announced flyer. You're the reason I wasn't announced higher. You're the reason I'm bottom of this card because you're an outsider. Whereas my name ringing bells from the announcement like a town crier. See the killer spree? Mm. See the killer spree I've been on? Murderous. Still people want to act like I don't deserve a push and now I'm bottom of the card because no one's heard of him. You're pushing craft down in the flyer like turbulence. See, they, they said it go. They said it matched us on good writing. My style's passion, yours is formulaic. It's mathematics at best. They told me he's a challenging threat who could rap with the vets. So I watched his battles expecting an algebra test, but I struggled because I couldn't find any value in X. See, I don't care. <laughs> See, I don't care how well that he's penning rounds or how good his writing is when he edits down. I don't care that he's switched his approach from me. Because when you've got a generic sound, X changing loses value like the Brexit pounds. He being a good writer. <laughs> See, being a good writer ain't all about that multisyllabic shit Cause I can do what you do while still composing a narrative Punches equipped with flow, schemes and assonance You just spit your bar speaking slowly, I'm rapping it I don't care if he's holding a championship That boat he's been captaining like Ebra and Liga And your whole league's embarrassing I'll beat you with that I'll beat you with that pro-green assassin shit No need for angling cause judging from his nose He's a coke fiend in Maverick See the way I, the way I compose pros and flow dope You won't leave me panicking cause XQZ From that no meaning act I know he don't stand for shit. Settle down. Sorry. <laughs> Make a lot of songs about being depressed, and uh, <laughs> really hate to say it, buddy. It's just like Drake and Cuddy. I, I respect the balls it takes to be open about it, but I'm still gonna try to make it funny. I mean, <laughs> like I'm not making light of the issue. I'm just making fun of this dude, posh battle rap obsessed poet from Bristol. What advice could your therapist actually give you, like Dan, Daniel? This whole little battle rap side hobby. Don't get me wrong, it's important. But is it normal to consider quitting after every shit performance? Is it normal to look at training day's events like it's Christmas morning? Is it, is it normal to need a trigger warning every time you hit the forums? Just ignore it and go outside and get hard inside to get endorphins. Look, look, every time, look, every time you put some I could totally fuck that up. I apologize. <laughs> I said, look, if you got who I guilt, I got dark humor, sharp shooter, harpoon your twisted neck like a good guitar tuner. I'm locked in. Perfect score, tenth frame, fresh lane, shot legend, red Grange, MJ on a revenge play, mm -hmm. Kyle Hendricks final N NLC yes came on that good. Except not on that bar apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Considering this last year and this frightening position that I'm in, I've literally had Visions of dying are saying we need a minute of silence, rest in peace, XQZ, cause of death, craft these intricate rhymes. It's like <laughs> beneath this posh exterior, there's some beast in him that's vicious and violent, like Herod's with Christian the lion living inside. And there's a difference. I'll go into any room, it doesn't matter. Fuck a. Oh man, I'm. This is brutal. I said, I'll go into any room like fuck a civil environment. I'm here to wrap my leap for anyone that lives in this island. You've only battled in Britain because you could only win if it's biased. It was different meanings when they say we battle with our city behind us. That's real shit. See, I'm the last dude that could bash you about delivery and 
personality, but your nervous energy makes it impossible for your verse to threaten me. Because I know I'm a weird dude, but when I'm in this ring, it still makes perfect sense to me. You just speed through your bars and fade to the back because you know that's where you're meant to be. You don't even like battling that much. You just think you have to out of pure necessity because Shufflo and Harry Baker could. So if you fail, it kind of hurts your legacy. I mean, you've been done, what, five battles? And act like this ring's been putting you through the gauntlet? You would have gotten a top tier opponent if that's what the fans truly had wanted. I mean, <laughs> why spend all this time sculpting these quadruple entendres if it'll ruin your day if someone's being rude in the comments? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> if you can't handle a couple fans being brutally honest, why battle rap? There's plenty other musical genres. If he wasn't so obsessed with telling people he's an artist, he would quit. But through copying this popular wordplay style and Saying his bar's a little quick, he started to carve a different niche and reach the target market of more New Jack little narcissistic kids who think he's dope because he makes battle rap look harder than it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're the most typical nerdy American ever made. You've got a swag of a guy who owns 50 sports jerseys but's never played. <laughs> you got that Cub Scout swag even though you're 28, spends his weekends with kids in 7th grade selling lemonade. <laughs> Seriously bro, I bet you bought a top for the Chicago Bulls and didn't even know it was a basketball. <laughs> See I wanted to slaughter a beast challenger, that performing in these caliber. You just look like a cross between a Lord of the Rings fan and a Lord of the Rings character. Because <laughs> you ain't a gangster bro. Your name's Steve Enet. You can't PG step in those deep v-necks. <laughs> now to be fair, out of all the MCs, do gun bars when they drop flows in London, he's the only one who ever got the long nose through customs. <laughs> yeah. I know it might be it might be a little bit of a low blow. I know bro. No rounds in no coast. No jokes. <laughs> I don't care if it's a cheap angle. He's someone that can beat regardless, Rob. Unless it's a game of who can fucking sneeze the farthest. <laughs> but then I've got ginger hair. So you can say we're both an easy target, but there's a difference. If I played hoopla with your face, you'd literally be an easy target. <laughs> Bro, I should be proud of that shit, man. I'm proud of my hair. See, facial features, they come from your ancestry. His nose size and excessive snot. Two things that tend to run in his family. <laughs> Bro, I don't know how it got to such an overgrown size, but you know it's peak when your chromosome type's called the Pinocchio light. <laughs> but I'm gonna take the scene out of Chicago like Home Alone 5. This is how I end pray. If we cross and it's a body like the Holy Ghost sign. But you know when I realize he's a beggy twat as well? When you battled real deal, Pay for his travel and hotel. <laughs> and he didn't even try for it, so the match was stale. Plus, you made 4K views, so the price of the match to scale. See, so paying for an opponent who makes no effort, that's a massive fail. If I want a good opponent, I'm at Holler Up. Briggs, my fucking national rail. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but those expenses are like Madrid's when they sign the man from Wales, because that real deal priced you out like Gareth Bale's transfer sales. See, title, oh. no. See, title holder. Man, I've seen your opponents, and I think where's the talent, the fight will? This clown couldn't see top tiers without having to buy stilts. See, we're leagues apart, so man the gap. Careful where you step when you're balanced on high heels. Don't claim more wins than me when you ain't faced a battle as mine field. See, no coast champion. Man, sometimes when you're top of a league, and think you're cruising, you're stifled. No matter how much you achieve, one wrong movement is vital. Think Gerard at Anfield. The downfall comes from the captain who they viewed as an idol because when Steve slips up in front of a bar, he'll be losing his title. Yeah. 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 See, it doesn't raise your profile. Yo, yo. See, it doesn't raise your profile or raise your feet. So that chain we see is just slavery. He came from Chicago to get a change of scene, losing his reign to me. And I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of murder is what they want to make of me, because I take home scalps, not titles. So it's plain to see I'll be framing Steve like he's Avery. <laughs> Hey, let's try to fuck this one up. How about that? Right. Yo! Uh, what's, it's, the crazy part is he's 
you still got hand gestures left. <laughs> Six hours on a flight for this, for this tweaked out ginger, I would have never guessed. When I get home, I think I'll just tell my friends I battled red and meth. <laughs> don't I see you? Don't, don't I see you at every music festival? Doing edibles, acting like dirtbag Dan on shrooms, like, dude, I'm in a new dimension, bro. I've, I've read enough Facebook articles to prove it's medical. See, THC has healing properties, so weed smoke actually improves your breath control. And <laughs> it actually improves your breath control, and uh, how did I seriously forget the next part of that? This is not going well. It improves your breath control, and that's some shit that greedy pharmaceutical corporations don't want you to ever know. If it was up to me, no one this pretentious would exist. See, I've watched enough battles to catch us little tricks to make all that wordplay seem more clever than it is. Now, we all know he likes to throw gestures in the mix and says shit like he's having an epileptic fit. He's not sure whether it'll hit, but he wants you all to know he's going over heads with what he spits, so he speeds up at the end of the bar and jumps into the next one really quick. That's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> Bitching about, I should have got a bigger opponent. We should have done this shit in Leeds. Your last battle you rhymed Owen Hart, Tony Starks, Noah's Ark, Rosa Parks, so I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sip this tea. I mean, <laughs> he's so competitive, oversensitive, because no one checks for him, so he'll diss the league. Like, battlers used to ruin each other's life, now they get drunk and have fun, and it sickens me. <laughs> this, that's why I don't rock with you, bar heads, as you call them. It's just, just mad weird to me. Like, hip hop can't be fun. I slap people that are whack lyrically. But I guess you uh, wanted a top tier opponent and got mashed here with me, so no wonder you're sick of Don't Flop not taking the craft seriously. I mean, I don't get it, crap. So bitter at rapping, we haven't even been in it that long, but still, bitch about how you missed the past, reminiscing back, listening to Vinny Pass songs. I mean, I agree, this new, I think this new, I think this new mumble rap is fucking trash, but don't get the facts wrong, because you're probably part of the reason Whisper Rap didn't catch on. I mean, how's, this dude, how's this dude been battling for like a year? and already lives in the past. Every time, every time you eat member berries, they talk about your live winner match. <laughs> this, kid, this kid is trash. So when I found out you were battling Marlowe and Shuffle, I thought, this is gonna be some classic shit. When I realized you literally looked like Fanta Stick had a kid. <laughs> Craft D. Don't flap top 10 punchlines of the month, honorable mention. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can convince Kruger to do a top 27. I mean, all the, I mean, all the, all the comments I read just talk about how solid his pen is. I mean, he even gave one of his opponents uh, fatherhood lessons. I almost expected that whole politics segment that you were ready to drop any second about how you cleverly blame me that Donald Trump won the election because it'd be so relevant to talk about that government you're oddly obsessed with, but it'd be totally corny and predictable to talk about Brexit, right? <laughs> Except you did that, so that one failed as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like the homie Soul always says, once you run out of personals and mythological weapons, no pen game's complete without a topical reference. And I know that was an awful impression. <laughs> I mean, there's some shit going on in America. And I don't know if y'all saw the news. So Crafty made a song about it, because he wants you all to know he has knowledge too. I mean, you want to show you're thoughtful, you're conscious, I get it. I'm not saying that's wrong to do, but it probably would have helped if any of the concepts you brought up in that song were new, talking about the two-party system creates an illusion of choice and for picking your options through. And when America heard that, they were like, no, oh, this is impossible. Are you in <laughs> Are you an MI6? Did you and Snowden bug every member of Congress rooms? You're dropping truth bombs like whoosh, sonic boom. In other, in, other, in other news, I heard Putin might not be an awesome dude. Some of the Bible stuff might not be true. This guy is fucking solid blue. Napoleon lost the water loose and cars produce toxic fumes and lead paint is not a food. Although, after watching you, it might be worth trying a drop or two. <laughs> Trump supporters, Clinton supporters going crazy, the system's flawed. I want to see it all improve, but being preachy when my country's drunk and angry, might want to watch who you're talking to, because we still got redneck Trump supporters that just want to watch the conflict brew, and if craft distillery, even the hipsters would bottle you. I'm saying, I found Real Deal, Tantrum, Nestle, and I ain't been getting a lot of views, so you can act like this is a step down, because I ain't been on King of the Dot, it's cool, but... I'm one of the biggest on your resume now, so as we're finishing off this duel, Hamilton and Burr, after this you'll learn who's really giving the shot to who. That's oh. Oh.
Yo! Fair play, he predicted some of my shit. And what he said is hard, but I don't give a fuck we're getting a bunch of Trump and Brexit buzz. Yo. But now, for a start, just because you've got years in this game, don't think your levels are like mine. See, there's a difference between battle vets and someone who was there at the right time, because you've never done King of the Dot and never did grind time, so you can't be a goat being deadpan. This ain't that golden age pros, the mold of Plato, they hide from vets, it's right wing press the way these pros escape goats, but now he's finally left the city. You'll see this fool stopped in the capital, ain't no lowercase pros, when I sent him packing zipped up, that's when you know it's case closed, you can't get to the frontier without crossing borders, facing lower grade foes, so tell me. Out from the back tier, he is supposed to break molds. They said he never bowed. Yeah. He could have bowed in the bunker, but instead he chose to stay home, cleanse his Champions League. But can't rule with no away goals. See that style? Yeah. See that style ain't original. You're just stealing forms, finding voices from the past like Ouija boards. I don't care what expensive, it's the cheapest talk, but expensive. That's why he's on that biting pen tip like he's deep in thought, but. <laughs> Deep in thought. But the way you get W's is criminal. So I'm the police in force, and you winning ain't a legal cause like eating pork in Sharia law. But hold up. Mm. <laughs> hold up. Let me change the subject to question. I don't care if it's predictable. I want to ask your country a question. And bear in mind, this is coming from Brexit. <laughs> Did you can't let Trump get elected? <laughs> I'm not surprised, bro. I'm more surprised you managed to get on the transport without spitting on or ripping your American passport. At least when you get into our shores, the left is a stark cause. Not some puppets reluctant to edit the past laws because Sanders exposed your banks and the members of large fraud. Instead, it's the last straw, so now you get what you asked for. When instead, you blame your problems on terrorist hardcores, acting like ISIS wasn't breath from your past cause and your nuclear weapons and hypothetical dark wars and you bombed your own buildings and said it's Saddam's cause and got Blair involved to link 9 11 to our cause. The world's terror threat came when you left on the rock taunt. See, now you say. Now you've elected in some supremacist dark lord who co-signs cult girls being molested on dance floors and wants all non-white people kept from a large wall exposing how long these attitudes have been kept in the dark for. Fuck Trump. I hope your country gets taken over by a Mexican task force. You want to <laughs> Over by a Mexican task force, you want to put his face on the coin, I want his head on the dartboard, man, I hate your country. I hate your country. I hate your country. And the way those shitty Americanisms keep affecting Britain. To the point there's UK pricks talking about the text they're gripping, and now it's all about depth of vocal tone. Not depth of wisdom, but think vinyls. If a classic gets put on deck, I'm spinning. See, is it really about, are people really that obsessed with image? Or want to see the best with Britain? See, I don't care who you're feeding them. I know Jed will grill them thinking aggressive <laughs> spitting is the best to fit it, but is it really about what you look like? What you're wearing? How big your chain is? Man, I don't give a fuck where you got your necklace fitted. If you really want to get through to Seoul, we ain't gonna see a possession killer like an exorcism, so I'll be back. <laughs> so fuck him, man. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be back when it's a top, I'll be back when it's the top opponent because I'm not about this path. When if you don't look or sound a certain way, you're not allowed to pass. And if I'm gone and all their penning is aggression when they're jotting down the bars, you can remember to tell them that they forgot about the craft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.